Uh, but I'm gonna do a quick demo on making a uh, plate. I'm making sure that clay stick on the bed. This is a bed that after I uh, finish throw, I can lift it up and put it aside. And I can use another bed to uh, to keep on throwing something that is flat. Uh, when it's flat, it's very hard for you to pick it up from the wheel. So uh, you want to put it on a bed. This piece of clay is about. I would say about two pounds. So I'm making the uh, foot that is wide enough. And after I make enough width, I start to open I usually leave my foot a little bit more than a quarter of an inch. Okay, and then I try to pick up the side. So I'm actually making a shallow ball first. Okay, and then now I'm going to use my uh, round rib to compress the inside. So the good thing about this wooden group is that when you compress it, if even it's close the middle part, it's still okay. Of course you want to work on the right hand side, but a little bit close over the middle part, it's okay. Um, you can um, <clears throat> tip over to get many different kind of curves. If you keep it straight, then your curve is like that. But if you tip over, then your curve will be uh, as shallow as this. So, the good thing about this, the wooden rib, that you can have many different curves in one piece. And it's good for making bowls, and also making plates too. Big platter, big plate. Rest it so the inside curve is nice and smooth. Um, after that, I usually like to uh, smooth the uh, the uh, texture from the wood because that 
uh, it's made out of wood so just to smooth it with a metal rib finger here to squeeze it while uh, using my left hand here on the top to push down so squeeze and push down at the same time to get a wider rim right after I do that um, use my left hand to support it underneath and then just use the metal rib to compress down so that I have a wide rim in the foot so pretty quickly I made my plate um, it's sitting on the bed I could just pick up my bed and remove it and make another one. And uh, all I care is the uh, inside shape. Even the clay is a bit thicker. Uh, you can trim it and um, use a very sharp trimming tool. You can remove the clay easily. So uh, all you need to care is the inside see if the curve is nice and smooth. So. Uh, So let me cut it open to show you. I leave my so this is the clay that I did a bit uh, thicker on here. So later on, I could trim it, trim the foot. And all I care is the inside curve, so uh, I was using my um, round rib to uh, compress the inside. So this curve is nice and smooth. Okay, so uh, I will make another one to show you that uh, how I trim and how I finish it up. But uh, to just show you that the uh, thickness of the pattern and uh, how I compress with my wooden grip. Okay, thanks for watching.